Telugu DSAM Party Chief Chandrababu Naidu returned to the Andhra Pradesh Assembly today 31 months after he left the house over insult to his family. Mr. Naidu had vowed in November 2021 that he would return only after becoming the chief minister, a feat he achieved after his party registered a landslide win in the Andhra Pradesh Assembly elections. The TDP won 135 seats in the 175-member assembly, while their allies Jana Sena and BJP won 21 and 8 seats respectively. Visuals today showed the entire house standing up to give a warm welcome to Mr. Naidu as he walked in as chief minister today. This is his fourth term as the chief minister of the state. He had left the assembly on November 19, 2021, over the abusive comments the then-ruling Yuvajana Sramakarithu Congress Party YSRCP, members allegedly made about his wife. He fought back tears before walking out of the assembly with folded hands during a debate on women's empowerment. I will not attend this assembly hereafter. I will return to the house only after becoming the chief minister, Mr. Naidu had said, adding that the assembly had become a Karava Sava, a referring to the hall where Dreupadi was humiliated in the Mahabharata. In the 2019 state elections, led by YS Jagan Mohan Reddy, secured a resounding victory, winning 151 out of 175 seats. The YSRCP swept key districts, including Kadapa, Kurnool, Nellore, and Vizianagaram. Meanwhile, the incumbent TDP managed to secure only 23 seats. Mr. Naidu's choice to leave the National Democratic Alliance, NDA, and align with the Congress-led United Progressive Alliance, UPA, ahead of the 2019 Lok Sabha elections turned out to be expensive. The TDP suffered losses in both the Lok Sabha and Assembly elections, resulting in Mr. Naidu being politically sidelined. A defeat in 2024 could have meant curtains for Mr. Naidu's 50-year political career. However, the wily politician, as he is often described, has managed a more than convincing comeback, once again in an alliance with the BJP even though he was cold-shouldered multiple times. But he scored big wins, both in assembly and Lok Sabha polls, retaking the chief minister's chair and also emerging as a key player in the NDA alliance which won a record third term at the center. The oath-taking ritual of the AP legislative members set a right precedent to assembly proceedings in the state, which heightened the expectations of the Andhra Pradesh public is seeing palpable change in the assembly proceedings the next five years, under the TDP rule. In contrast to the personal abuses and derogatory language used by the ruling YCP leaders during its five-year rule, the TDP, JSP, and BJP coalition maintained decorum and showed discipline in the House on the first day of its functioning after the new government assumed charge. During the YCP rule, the public got vexed witnessing the abysmal levels to which the YCP leaders stooped just to show their supremacy in the House and at one moment. One of the YCP leader even questioned TDP President N. Chandrababu Naidu, how did Lokesh come on earth, which frustrated the senior politician and he said he would never step into the Karava Sava. I will come back into the house only as the CM, Naidu vowed. At the same time, former CM Jagan Mohan Reddy ridiculed Jana Sena boss Pawan Kalyan of his multiple marriages without missing any opportunity at every public meeting. Now, the TDP had wrested power from the YCP but the ruling party leaders are not pouncing on the YCP MLAs or on its boss even when the party suffered a humiliating defeat. Yesterday, all the legislative members took oath in the assembly. Juggin and his party MLAs also attended the program. Juggin took oath as an MLA right after all the ministers completed their formalities. However, the immediate next day, all the YCP leaders, including its boss, remained absent from the assembly. According to the rules, the opposition party leader is also supposed to fulfill some responsibilities when the speaker is elected in the assembly. However, Juggin stayed away from all the responsibilities and this led to criticism from the leaders of the ruling coalition. But in 2019, when Chandrababu's TDP suffered a defeat, he and his party MLAs attended the assembly and continued to raise people's problems despite the humiliation and abuses hurled at them by the YCP members. YCP MLA Sadairai Upalraju also made some insulting remarks against Naidu that he should get treated by a psychiatrist, but Naidu remained composed and did not lose his cool. It was only after three years of withstanding the harassment by the ruling YCP MLAs in the assembly, 
that Chandrababu Naidu took a vow never to return to the assembly as the opposition leader. Now, Jugan and his MLAs have bid adieu to the assembly after the first day itself, and there are doubts if he would ever return to the assembly. It is significant to note that Chandrababu Naidu, Pawan Kalyan or Nara Lokesh have only faulted Jugan for not attending the assembly but did not pass any derogatory remarks against him. The ruling coalition even relaxed the rules and allowed Jugan's vehicle enter the premises of the assembly because Jugan Mohan Reddy has not even secured the required number of seats to be identified as the opposition leader. It would be a welcoming change if the TDP coalition can maintain some ethics and principles in the House and the MLAs behave with dignity as elected representatives. Tags AP Assembly